Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another Uno Moss episode, the series where we are looking at weird, wacky, and wonderful things within Mario Maker 2. Again, and as always, for those that don't know, uh, a Uno Moss level typically showcases things that weren't intended to be in the game by Nintendo, yet here they are. So let's go ahead, check some of these out. So we're going to start off with this one. It's called It's Tricky to Go Alone made by Wizzlest. The solution is a strange mechanism, no hidden blocks. Now I've heard this one is very um, challenging, but also the reward is worth it. Uh, no hints. Okay, you can tell me, the hint, only hint you can tell me is not to uh, literally walk right into a Koopa. So what do we have? We have an on-off. We have a door down below. Oh, there's a door. I, I actually didn't see this door. <laughs> uh, this door I did not see, but there it is. There's a door right there. You can hit an on-off. Do I want to throw the shell here? I think I know. I think I know what we got to do. I think what we want to do. So let's see, let, let's just let's just take a look. So now we have a one up. Although I guess Never mind. Okay. So, all right, we we can now go here. We can now progress through the level. We have a shell. This is uh, interesting. We have two shells. I'm going to bring both shells with me. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be seeing yet. I'm just kind of... Playing this like a normal level at this point in time. Checkpoint. What? 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 Okay, we got it. Thank you. GG? I think I get it. So I think this is a shell hopping adventure, friends. I think from what I understand. Let's see. Let's see if I got this. Let's see if I understand. So what I think I want to do, maybe. Let's see if this is right. Let's see. Let's see. Now, will the Koopa... Wait, was that right? <laughs> How do we get a Koopa up there? It would have to, somehow the Koopa would have to do like a super jump and that's just not possible. Wait a second, I got an idea. Wait a second, wait, are you telling me? 
What if I get... Dying is the solution. No! I'm gonna put this at the very edge. The edge of glory, if you will, <laughs> you know what I mean? Wait, it's gone! So what if instead... I know he turned- I understand that he turned green. But I also don't know how that helps me. Do the shoes change colors? Uh, you know, I didn't notice that. Let's let's take a look. Red Koopa. Red shoes. Whoa! 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 Just change shoe colors. There's just a one up in there. Wait a second. I don't even need what's in there. You're tell- Alright, so I don't need that. What I need to do here- I get it! Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah, yeah! Yeah, yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah! I thought that was gonna work! Oh, I thought that was gonna work. I thought I had it. I thought I had it. Okay, let me try something. I got an idea. Uncle Daddy's got a big idea. That did not do... Pick your poison 89 just subscribed. What I hoped? Oh! Whoa! Oh, oh, there's two! They went to the ba! Shooby dooby doo! Shooby dooby doo! Shooby dooby doo! Wait, no, 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 Okay, hold up, hold up. Then we go back. But why would this give me two keys? This isn't going to give me two keys. Is it? Wait, why does that one have a key? I don't get it! Oh! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We duplicated it. Transferring the green Koopa to the red shell, then going through the door lets you keep the key in the red shell and spawn a second one. So technically, you could do this multiple times? No, 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 but... Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, so for the simplicity's sake... Hello, YouTube! What you're about to see is something called item duplication. Uh, we figured this out on our first try, but... I uh, just figured I would show you how this... Thing works so notice we have a red shell without a Koopa in it we go into this door we drop the Koopa we boop this Koopa green Koopa let the green Koopa get in the red Koopa we then go in the door we then go back in the door 
Now, watch what's gonna happen. There's gonna be a Koopa that was originally a green Koopa gives us a key. The second Koopa also gives us a key. Duplicating the key, giving us two keys. A spare key, if you will. And thus allows us to beat the level. Wow. My brain hurts. <laughs> the next Uno Moss level is called Les Glitches, made by Caius 2 Now, I recently played this level for an Uncleared Levels episode, which we're going to go through the glitches, which are really cool in and of itself. But I could not, for the life of me, figure out how to do the very last glitch needed to beat the level. So this first part is pretty neat, as you'll see. 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 There we go. So now you're thinking, well, how, what do you do here, Uncle DGR? It's quite easy, my lad. We're gonna go right through the floor! Now you might be thinking, well, now what do we do, DGR? How are we going to get in the key? How are we going? No. No. Okay, so we got the second key. Now you might be thinking, well, how, what is gonna happen here? Well, take a look. Feast your eyes upon the bomb up there. How are we gonna explode that bomb to hit the on-off switch, you ask? Well, by doing that. Look at this pal block. It's fully submerged in the spring. There's nothing we can do about it. Now, this part right here, watch Mario's feet. Did you see that? Can we put that in slow motion? Mario's feet were dangling out the side. We call that the sweet dangler. That's what we call that back in my day. Now, this part is pretty cool. We're gonna run full tilt. Look at that, we ran right through a meatball without taking damage. However, when we have the fire flower, we do take damage. Now, I'm also gonna die here because I think my timing was off. Keep watching. What we want to do, we want to jam ourselves in this little area right here. You may be thinking, oh, Dave, did you softlock yourself? <laughs> oh, no. We're just going to ride that bad boy all the way to the top. Go into the pipe. Now, like I said, you have seen all those if you watched the uncleared level I did a few weeks back. This, though, is the one I can't figure out, friends. I cannot figure out, this is where the Uno Moss comes into play. How do we activate this P-Switch? Subscribed. So notice we have a link power, but how do we, I don't think the arrow can fit in the crack. It looks like it's almost there, but it's, it is the arrow? By George, it was the arrow. Next, this is another level I showed off in an Uncleared Levels episode. I myself could not figure this out, but this is where you come in. Uno Moss, too shy for Pau Sama. So we have to figure out how to beat the level while holding a Pau. 
But blocking our way is a muncher. We can throw the pal, but once it's gone, we can no longer beat the level. How do we do this? This is where things get interesting. What I initially thought was somehow we had to, you know, shove ourselves, HC shoving stuff our our way down inside the pal, but that does not seem to be the case. At least, not that I found. Jump and throw pal and the munch at the same frame and re grab it. So you're saying use, you're saying use the sloped roof to our advantage. Maybe I get some speed. Let's see. That had to have been close. What if I get stand awkwardly close to this month? I don't know what just happened. What, what even just happened there? I don't know. Mm. Again, my initial thought was somehow using the pal to slide in the slope, but I don't. What's in the box is one-ups. I don't understand. There's got to be a way to do this. Like, there's some enemies you can push by dropping a pal, but a muncher is not one. Munchers are heavy. figure this out so bad i mean there could be a solution in the description for sure i only like you at arms length it's all about the despawn check my previous comment despawning the muncher but i don't know how to despawn the muncher doesn't feel like there's enough real estate to despawn the muncher Shout out to Distick for figuring that one out because I I don't know that that probably would have not been the eventual conclusion I came to. But now now seeing the title, it all makes sense. When we go off screen, the muncher despawns. The pal block falls where the muncher would normally be. Then when you come back on screen where the muncher normally is, the muncher can't spawn. Thus, giving you clear passage to the goal. The next Uno Moss level is called Uno Moss No Recoil, made by Happy Route. Okay, reach the goal as Fire Mario. It's always that bit of confusion when you start an Uno Moss level. Like, okay, so we, there's no way. I don't think that's what, I don't, they, no, no, I don't think that's what the level was trying to show us. Hold on. Surely that's not it.
Oh, maybe that is what it's showing. Okay, no, 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 no. That's what it's showing us. Okay, I get it. I get it. No, 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 no. I understand what it's trying to show us. Okay. Take a look when we spin jump on these uh, breakable blocks. Notice Mario is bouncing. You notice that Mario goes doot, doot, doot. Now, when we do it again... Now, when we do it like this, you notice Mario didn't bounce. What is the difference? I don't know. What? Why? Why didn't we bounce? So this is not an actual Uno Moss level, although this shows off tech that I consider Uno Moss worthy. It's called Friendship by Sauce Pal. This is at an actual platforming level. Like I said, it doesn't. It's not necessarily Uno Moss, but it shows some uh, some tech that I would consider Uno Moss ish. <laughs> like I I don't really understand how this tech is work. It's like so there's a Kaizo block and it somehow squirts Yoshi through the hole. Oh, that was bait. Why was that Yoshi... So the first time we played this, why was Yoshi stuck inside the muncher? That was really weird. It's very strange. Very cool. Very, very cool. The next one we're gonna look at is called Uno Moss Pass the Unpassable. Aardvark. Pass the unpassable. Wait, what? Let's look at it again. Because I was... Somehow... My kids were trying to prank me with a whoopee cushion. You have to be ducking. You need to, to duck salad. You gotta be ducking. Like Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> you see that? Look at that. We went right in there. The next one is also by the same creator called The Perfect Parabola. Not a pair of pants, a parabola. Not a parakeet, a parabola. Not a parachute, a parabola. Not a parabola, a paramedic. Wait, what? What did that say for me to do? Whee! Whee! <laughs> I'm such a gamer. Now we're going to take a look at something cool down. Touch the flag or don't. I'm not your boss. This was made by Box. Reach the goal as Super Mario. I've done that once or twice in my day. Oh, and then if I butt pound from up top, Hey, there we go. We got it. 
Uno Moss L is for spin jump. Hashtag DGR. I don't have high hopes for this one, but we're gonna check this out. I'm telling you, chat, we're scraping the bottom of the barrel for uh, Uno Moss stuff. What hint? You know, people ask me, Dave, why don't you play more Uno, make more Uno Moss videos on your YouTube channel? I think that answers the question. Uno Moss, float your boat by Ronaldo. Reach the goal while wearing a dry bones shell. Okay. I got a dry bones shell. Okay, so makes sense. We get in a dry bowl. Whoa! What? <laughs> Wait, what the dump is going on? What is going on with these shells? I can't get in. I can't even grab. You can't grab the shell or get into it. Or yes, you can. Yes, you can. What the heck? <laughs> oh, they just appear. So wait, I just noticed. I was like, why do they just appear out of nowhere? I thought I just missed it and they like rose up, but no, they just like, bam. They're there. That's weird. Uno Moss flagpole in the sub world. I feel like this is a big old bait that I'm taking, but I'm gonna check it out anyways. Okay, we're going into a sub world. I think that's a good uh, good spot to end this Uno Moss video. Well, my friends, that was another Uno Moss and quite possibly the very last Uno Moss episode we ever take a look at. Unless, of course, we get a Mario Maker 3, then all bets are off. But in terms of Mario Maker 2, as you can see, the, the well has run dry for the most part. Lots of cool ones we still saw today, but ones that kind of underwhelming as well. But... That being said, it was a fun run. It was a fun series. I won't say that we won't ever do another Uno Moss episode, but we'll have to get like an, a good new crop and uh, might be an, it might be a while. I won't say never, but it might be a while. But thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any other I, Uno Moss levels you think I should check out, you can always let me know in the comments below and I'll do try my best to check them out. Have a great rest of your day. And until next time, take care.